Hola, soy María, and this is an embodied Spanish class for day translations. Today we are going to talk about a daily routine, and we are going to focus on the morning routine. Yeah, so the first question that I would ask is, ¿Qué haces todos los días? ¿Qué haces todos los días? What do you do every day? So, all of us, we have um, some sort of routine or daily activities that we do every day, right? So, if you ask me, ¿qué haces todas las mañanas? ¿Qué haces todas las mañanas? I would say um, something like, me levanto a las 7 de la mañana. Primero me tomo un café mientras leo un libro. Luego me ducho y después me visto, me peino, eh, me lavo los dientes, me maquillo y alrededor de las 9 um, salgo de casa. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, this would be more or less my, my morning routine. So, I wake up um, at 7. I have my coffee while I read a book, um, I take a shower, I get dressed, I comb my hair, what else? I brush my teeth <laughs> um, and I put some, uh, I put on some makeup and then I leave the house. Yeah, so these are things that I do every day or almost every day and in um, almost the same order. This is mi rutina my routine, or uh, mi rutina mañanera, my morning routine. To talk about daily activities, we usually um, use um, reflexive form of the verbs. That is, the action is done and received by the same person. So, if you look at my morning routine, I talk about ducharse. To have a shower. You see, ducharse. There is this se at the end that makes this verb reflexive. So, I do the action of showering and I receive the action of showering. Right? Yeah, it's reflexive. Other um, reflexive verbs that we, that form part or that make part of, of daily activities could be bañarse, take a bath, vestirse, to get dressed, um, despertarse, to wake up, levantarse, to get up, lavarse, to wash uh, oneself, peinarse, to comb, maquillarse, put makeup on, afeitarse, to shave, and many others. <laughs> okay, there are many others. So, as you can see, the common trait in all these verbs is the se. S-E at the end, and that makes them reflexive. So, the, as I said, the action is done and received by the same person. And also, that's uh, important to remember, we need to add a pronoun reflexive before the verb. So, lavarse, ends at the end, se, um, the way I would say I wash myself is yo, me, that's the, the pronoun that I, I mentioned, yo me lavo. So it is about you, tú te lavas. Él o ella se lava. Nosotros nos lavamos. Vosotros or vosotras os, os laváis. And finally, ellos or ellas se lavan. So this middle word that goes before the verb is very, very important so that we know that this action is done and received by the same person. So if you say something like yo lavo, there's something missing there. I wash, I wash what? Yo lavo mi perro, I wash my dog, pero yo me lavo las manos, 
I wash my own hands. So I do the action, I receive the action of washing. Yeah. So this me or this little word before the verb is really, really important. Then we continue with daily activities or routines or actions, things that we do almost every day. Salir de casa, that's to leave the house, to get out of the house. Salir de casa, in the form of yo, salgo de casa. Ir al trabajo, go to work, in the form of yo, voy al trabajo, trabajar, to work. Yo trabajo, almorzar, that's to have lunch. Yo almuerzo, salir del trabajo, that is to leave work. Yo salgo del trabajo, llegar a casa, to arrive home, to get home, llego a casa, that's yo llego a casa, estudiar, to study, yo estudio, ver la tele, um, to watch TV, yo veo la tele, acostarse, acostarse is to go to bed, so yo me acuesto, sí, acostarse en sin se, so I add me before the verb for the form of yo, me acuesto, I go to bed, I lie in bed. Cenar, uh, to have dinner. Ceno, yo ceno. Dormirse, to fall asleep. Dormirse, again, reflexive. So yo me duermo, or simply me duermo, yeah? So in order to express when we do these activities um, or the frequency, uh, and the length, we need to add some connecting words. We need to add some words, like the following ones. For example, todas las mañanas. Todas las mañanas means every morning. Por la mañana. Por la mañana. In the morning. Todas las tardes. Every afternoon. Por la tarde. In the afternoon. Todas las noches. Every night or every evening. Por la noche, at night, or in the evening. A las nueve de la mañana. A las nueve de la mañana. At nine a.m. or at nine in the morning. So if we want to organize, um, if we want to express the order of the activities, we can use words like primero, first, después, then, or later, and finally, finalmente. And I'm going to leave you with um, a few questions uh, that you can answer in the comments. So, for example, ¿Qué haces los lunes por la tarde? What do you do on Monday afternoon? Or what do you do every Monday afternoon? Um, ¿Qué haces después de trabajar? What do you do after work? ¿Qué haces después de trabajar? And two questions regarding your um, morning and evening routine. ¿Qué haces por la mañana? What do you do in the mornings? ¿O qué haces por las mañanas? And ¿Qué haces antes de dormir? What, what do you do before falling asleep, before going to bed? ¿Qué haces antes de dormir? So, this is all from me for today. I look forward to read your comments and have a good day. Hasta luego.